Hi guys, this is the report in preparation for our October board meeting 2013. Uh, this is going to be relatively short. Um, we had one major project that we worked on pretty much most of the month, and that was preparing for our um, October Consultants Immersion course, which was right here in our convening space. Um, I apologize that uh, the lighting on me is probably not really good, but the lighting on the space looks fabulous. Um, but I really wanted to do the video here so that you could, guys could see. Um, our group left, well, probably this morning, um, but uh, today is Saturday that I'm recording this. They were um, here Monday through Friday. It was pretty special in many, many ways. We're still processing um, how special it was, both from the group, from uh, some changes that we've made to the class, and from being right here in this space. Um, so let me just sort of go over a couple things with you. Um, the big piece as far as the content is concerned and, and what this class um, was able to accomplish is that we have been on a path for the past several months um, that have led to some pretty significant while subtle, significant changes, um, resulting in about 20 additional pages in the workbook that got written in the, in the last couple of weeks. Um, part of that is a result of the fact that our teams have been working all year, so 10 months of, of 2013, to put these frameworks into practice. And so we have been practicing every single day and practicing in meetings with each other. Um, and that has led to our being able to, um, to understand how to talk about the framework in a way that makes sense from meeting to meeting, that makes sense in here's what's happening, how it, how it is being applied very, very personally. In addition, all of the work that we did with, um, with Dave Svet and with Zach Breaker and with many of you guys about messaging trying to think about the frameworks in a way that make it very, very easily accessible to people, which obviously when you're teaching is going to be a big thing. Um, and so we've been thinking about messaging, we've been thinking about how we tell our story, how we relate the frameworks, um, how, we, how we really look at the fact that this is one framework. And that framework really has to do with creating favorable conditions for folks to be at their best to create the world that we want and that everything else flows from that. How do we create the favorable conditions, um, that, that causality that causes people to be at their best so they can accomplish the very, very best in their lives and in their world. Um, that has come out of the work with Dave and with Zach on the messaging. It has come out of the fact that we have been public now. We've been out you know, doing public speaking uh, quite a lot having folks interview us um, about this, so we're talking about it a lot, and then we're putting it into practice. Um, and the result of which, like I said, is not only 20 additional pages in the workbook, but a reframing of how we've been teaching, um, and a that in combination with the eight remarkable human beings who were in the room with us, um, that it really, really was an honor to be with them. Um, it really created a pretty magical week, and what we're really looking forward to is uh, seeing what they do with this because we're, we're quite convinced that, that these eight people are going to go out and immediately start creating change, um, both small and large. So that's, that's pretty, pretty significant. Um, which I guess leads to my showing you where we spent the week. And I'm going to apologize because I'm going to handhold the camera. It's going to be herky-jerky. But um, I, I really want you guys to be able to see. Um, this is, we, we rented some tables. And it was a good thing we rented them. Um, because we got to see what works, um, experiment with what works. We still have all the sheets up, or not all the sheets. Um, what happens at the end in the last day of class is folks actually put their names on the sheets that they want to take home with them. Uh, we, we photograph all of the sheets so that they can have copies of absolutely everything. Um, but let me get past me here. <coughs> but uh, the ones that they want to take with them, they take. So this is just some of what was up on the walls. But um, it's, it's pretty delightful to be able to um, have this happening in our office. Um, one immediate result of that uh, has been that it's no longer our office. Um, this became home for eight individuals who are all over the continent. And that was what our goal was in creating it as a convening space, that people see this as their home. And so if you're watching, come on home. Um, it really, really is. And, and that was a, 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 um, a significant outcome that we hadn't really thought about in those very, very relational terms. 
Um, and it was actually one of the folks who were here that pointed it out to us that uh, it's no longer just an office, but this it really is home for creating the future. So um, that's what we worked on for the past month, is getting the space ready, getting the content ready, um, getting our participants ready, the, the one hour phone calls that we have with each participant to get them ready to be here, um, to create the favorable conditions for them to be at their best so that um, we can go out and kick butt and accomplish this mission. Um, that's all I got, and I hope you guys had a great month as well. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.